Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Good Monday morning to you. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend. It is 548 and we will start with the tropics. We have Invest 98. I'm sure you're going to see this on social media. It's an area of low pressure that is just between Panama City and Apalachicola. Going to eventually move over land then potentially back into the Atlantic where it will have a better shot for formation through the next five days. No threat to Louisiana. Also, we have our fifth name storm of the season. Thankfully, tropical Storm Edward is not going to be a threat to land, not going to be a threat to Louisiana. However, it is the earliest fifth name storm on record. Again, thankfully, no threat to land, even though it is fairly weak. Also, there's a tropical wave that we're watching that is just to the east of the Windward Islands, has a low chance for formation through the next five days. So I know uh, it's been pretty quiet thanks to the, the Saharan dust, and thankfully, things are looking pretty quiet quiet for our area, but of course, you always want to be hurricane ready. All it takes is one. We still have a lot of ways to go. Meanwhile, it's beautiful this morning for most. <laughs> you can see the sun trying to peek through the clouds, although it is going to be cloudy and wet today. So I know it looks fine now, but we have some wet weather headed our way. Temperatures not too bad. Low and mid 70s out there. 72 degrees, which is uh, near normal for this time of year. And you can see some showers that are pushing in from the west in the northwest this morning with rain chances increasing throughout the day. We'll see coverage as well as intensity of the showers and thunderstorms. That will start to increase through the day. Our rain chances around 80%. So there's that area of low pressure going to push ashore and then we're still under this very unsettled wet weather pattern. That's going to continue for the next few days. Wednesday is going to be a transitional day. We'll still see showers and thunderstorms scattered to numerous showers and storms, but then we'll start to see ridging that's going to rule our weather pattern all the way through the weekend. But we're not going to be completely done with rain chances. They're just going to be on the lower side. And usually when this happens, we know it's going to be hot and it's going to be very humid. With that ridging, we're going to have very uh, dry air in place and very hot air in place. So the Doppler radar this morning, again, we have showers and thunderstorms to our west, to our south, and a few showers and thunderstorms for our immediate area. But overall, we're staying mostly dry for now. With the heaviest of rain to our west and to our south with some strong thunderstorms just offshore. So heads up to mariners out there. If you are going to be out and about at any point today, again, you will want the rain gear. Rain coverage should begin to increase, I would say, later this morning, uh, late morning to around lunchtime. And then by the afternoon, numerous to widespread showers and thunderstorms with things starting to quiet on down as we head into the evening hours. But we'll still hold a 40% chance for rain. As for the next 72 hours, rainfall estimates widespread should be between one and two inches. But just like yesterday, Yesterday, some spots got over five inches of rainfall just from one storm. So, of course, you can double or triple those amounts. Temperatures in the mid 80s, then upper 80s, rain chances taper. And then look at the weekend. It's going to be mostly dry. We'll have a few thunderstorms out there, but it is going to be hot with highs in the mid 90s. But it's going to feel well into the triple digits. With high heat, high humidity, and these rain chances, our skater meter will run on the high side. So, just a heads up there. Let's get a quick check on the traffic.